Well, I guess good time is only to get this show on the road. I'm interested in this game. I have no uh, no idea what it's about because I barely read through the description. So I guess we'll find out. But uh, oh, I don't think I can move yet. Okay, Christmas Eve, nineteen forty. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold. Hold the phone here just a bit. Oop, wait a minute. Ooh, we're breaking and entering or I guess someone else is breaking and entering and we're just being a voyeur quietly sneaking in Nice little apartment. Or I guess maybe it's a house with an upstairs. It looks like kind of like an apartment or a duplex. Okay, kids' bedroom. Never a good sign if we're seeing that. Uh, door opens. Oh, they must really be talking lowly. I didn't even know they were talking until I saw the subtitles. I'm going to turn that up in just a second. been a kidnapping not great but I mean as we find her I will find her detective Jazz June 22nd 1954 so missing since Christmas that's a long time to be missing For the best part of my later years, I worked as a private investigator. I'd seen many a terrible case. Sadly, most of them unresolved. But in 1954, something terrible and far closer to home happened that I could not avoid. And it happened right here. My name's Conway. Well, now I see why the game is titled the way it is. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha.
decent looking. That character, are we just waking up from a little nap? Inversion style. I don't know what that means. So we need a wheelchair. And you click on things to get things. Oh, where's my camera? I need to see what's going on inside my brain. Okay. I need to find the camera somehow. Can I look around or do anything? I'm kind of confused on where the camera would be. I need my camera. All right, let's back up just a tad. Oh, maybe I backed up too, too far. Nope, maybe I didn't. Okay, so this is turning. Oh, this is going to be a long night, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I going backwards? Why am I not? Okay, this is forwards. This is turning. Camera over here. Camera? Okay, there's a picture of me and what I imagine is my wife. There's a clock, there's a book, there's a teacup. No camera. Right, uh, let's just turn over this way. Forward march. Ah, camera. Now I can get a closer look. All right, let's let's turn this way. Let's wheel you over. What on earth is all the commotion? So you take a picture with. Okay. Going on here. Oops. I actually might take a picture of this. That's too far away. I have to zoom in. How's that too far away? Oh, I got you. I got you. Tony Morgan's blood. Blunt force trauma. Item A. That's Tony Morgan's blood. My God. I hope he's all right. I mean, obviously he's not if his blood's on the ground. You know, I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. Smash during attack. Smash D. I, I must have slipped through it. I should have come to my window soon. Indeed, you should have. What are these guys? Oh, can I? Theodore and Annabelle McKee, I believe. I really should get to know my name. Okay, Theodore and Annabelle seem like they witnessed something. Maybe. Um, uh, should I take a picture of the police car? I wonder if Catherine is with me. Okay, so is Catherine my wife, girlfriend, or ex? Probably ex. I look like I lived alone. Wait a minute. Yeah. Zoom in on you. Whoop, not that far. I didn't mean to zoom out on your crotch. Harold Levy owns most of the flats in WD. Okay. Landowner. Well, landlord. Landlord. Ooh, what's this? Can I take a picture of that? Possible chloroform. Old Mrs. Doa. Hey, old lady. Mrs. Peering through her window, watching my neighbors. Likes to people watch. She probably heard something. Oh, pretty flower. 
I'll take a picture of that, but I can't. Um, I think that's a dolly that actually. But not a black one. I uh, took a picture. Oh, I did not take a picture of that. Charlotte May bound during abduction. That's not good. Bound during abduction. Take off. Charlotte May, Mr. Morgan's daughter, has been kidnapped. I'm gonna need a mind map for this. I need a piece of paper. I'm gonna need a piece of paper for this. Let's let's, let's map all this evidence out in our. A piece of paper, because I'm going to need some organization of our facts here. He's smoking. Shirley Downs. She runs the crow's nest. Okay, she runs the crow's nest. I've already forgotten who all we've seen. Uh, Mrs. Dower, Theodore, Annabelle, Shirley. Forgot the landlord's name. And apparently the police person that we're looking for is Catherine. I think I did pretty good. Oh, that's a shoe. Okay. Well, obviously the shoe means nothing because it didn't let me take a zoom picture of it and he didn't say anything. Levi, uh, Levi and Son. I said Levi. Levi and Son. I have a sinking feeling that I'm going to pan around and just see a bunch of eyes staring back at me. I'm not going to like that. Is there anything else that I need to observe here? Oh, looks like a child was playing here. Those look like tire marks? They are in front of his garage, so that makes sense. Hmm. A kidnapping right on my doorstep. Doesn't look good to me. Yeah, no, don't don't think about it too much. Time, Time to pay my neighbors a visit. See what they know. So are we detectives, but in a wheelchair? I mean, it's not like you couldn't be, but that cobblestone looks treacherous. Tre treacher treacherous. Tre whatever. I can't say it right now. Treacherous. Ah, I keep saying ish. Treacherous. Alright. Back up. Wheel ourselves to the door, because I think that's where we're headed. Um, this door? No. Ourselves toward the kitchen. Actually, what's what's still over here that we can get? Nothing. Um, seems like nothing. So we back up. We go back over here and look at some things. Oop! I'm going the wrong direction. Okay. There's the phone. The book, The Inner Workings of the Criminal Mind. Alright. Uh, guess there's no real need to examine it, but this is how you examine things. Um, can't do anything with that. And that's got to be capital. These, these mechanics of turning and moving. Hello, everybody that is possibly or not possibly watching, lurking, or otherwise occupied. How are you guys? I hope you're having as much fun as I am right now. Because we've just started. We're at the beginning of the game. You came at a good time. No, oh, that is small. I need bigger glasses to read that. Okay, let's see what it says. Objectives. Something has happened in Dahlia View, but what? Okay, I've got my camera. Talk to the Dahlia View residents in the courtyard and find out what they know about Charlotte May's abduction. 
I think I have a smaller screen in front of me because there's no way I'd be able to see that otherwise. Lady Dewar? I can't remember how you pronounce her name. But she's a widow who occupies the old manor house next door. Seemed to have a little time for me and handed me a brooch. She lives alone. And I think it's safe to say that most people in Dahlia View know little to nothing about her. Her house looks like the perfect place to hide someone. Old, dark, and mostly abandoned. Okay. Well, uh, I would think she'd kidnap a child, so... That probably doesn't mean anything. Shirley Downs, the landlady of the Crow's Nest, the pub where the searchers for Charlotte May are meeting. Other than the noise and the nightlife, I don't hear from her. She's always looked like a confident person from afar. I was surprised to see how nerve she was when talking about Harold Levy. It'll be interesting to find out more about her when I get around to it. And he's the landlord and owns the garage. Mm, not much about him. Seems kind of iffy, though. Suspect number one. Annabelle is a housewife and married to Theodore. I believe her sister, Shirley, is the landlady of the Crow's Nest. Okay, so she's related to Shirley and married to Theodore. She's got strong opinions of the little old lady. She's got harsh views and seems over eager to share. I don't fancy her a kidnapper. I don't know her well enough to judge just yet, but she's got my attention. Theodore works at the garage. He carries musical instruments. He seemed to want Annabelle to say a little less. Perhaps he didn't want her to give something away. He did seem eager to join the search party. If his friends tell me anything at all, I should at least keep a sharp eye on it. Well, now, why is he the suspect in this notebook? I b I want to know why he's the suspect here. Because so far as I know, Theodore didn't do anything. Suspect number one is still the landlord. I do not suspect Theodore of anything. Alright, now, where are we going? Nope, can't go there. Alright. Gonna... Nothing there? Alright. Boy, if I'm getting chased, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm in serious danger if I'm getting chased. Ooh, a fridge. A postcard. Let's flip it. Press R to read it. Hello, old friend. Welcome to Pinwell. Hello, old friend. To answer your question, things are the way they always have been for me. You know the drill. I'm sorry to hear about your situation. I myself am starting to forget the odd thing here and there. Jim's worried as usual. We're going to have to face it, old boy. We're getting old. Anyway, look at it this way. You always did like sitting on your arse all day. Dang ours, they're European. Probably Irish. Now, you can do it without being told you're lazy. I promise I'll visit soon and show a little more respect. Jean sends her love all the bless. Ah, all the best, Fletch. Alright. Okay. Ticket. Riverport Pavilion. Ticket of admission, Saturday. 26 June at 7.30 for a play for a play ah uh, okay put that back we're probably gonna need that nope don't go that way just yet we're gonna explore this house some more oops maybe if I get over here What's this? Soap? Hmm. Alright, soap. Uh, window. Ration book. 
So maybe he doesn't live with Catherine, but Catherine still comes by. Or maybe she does live there and she's just busy working. But he needs more food. Wait, what, what, what can we do here? What was the point of that? I don't understand what the point of that was. Anything on the floor I need to look at? No? Okay. So let's take you outside, old chap. You're probably British. Fletcher's probably Irish. He said arse. And the only reason I'm saying it is because it's not the American way we say it. But nevertheless, we persist. Don't change the movement style. I mean, I'll get used to it, but I, I just want to know what the other options are, you know? Not that I guess it matters, but... Eh. Who cares? Forward ho. Uh, there's a door here. Can I do anything over this way? Nope. Okay, back up. Back up. Nope. 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 Going in circles. All right. Let's just calmly. Oop. Okay. Now we're running into hallway doors. This place has an elevator. That's gonna be it. Push the button. Let's back up and wait for the elevator. You know what? I should have tried to roll in backwards so I could just roll. Never mind. Logistical things, but. Oh, you did the handy job of turning me around. That was nice of the game. That's the exit. I don't think we did exploring here anymore just yet. Ooh, I'm going the way wrong way. Uh, what's this say? Well, actually, we'll come back to that if it's important. If it was important, it wouldn't let us leave. Charlotte May could only be seven. Oh, Charlotte. Why? I know it wasn't Theodore. I don't know why, but it wasn't him. I'm not going to pin this on the only character of color in the game. So far. Now, if you get two, then Theodore might have to be a suspect, but... You're the only one. There is no way it's you. Uh, let's go over there and talk to them first, actually. Make sure we clear our guy here. Hello, Mr. Conway. Good evening. Terrible what's happened, isn't it? So you know what happened. They're looking for a kidnapper. A search, search. is about to start in the Pine Woods. My sister, Shirley. She owns the pub across the... The searchers are all meeting there first. What do you know about the kidnapping, Mr. Conway? Not much. But that's why I'm talking to the pair of you. You should talk to the old busybody over in her big manor house. Mrs. Durham. She knows everything that goes on here. Oh, he's Jamaican. Well, I sound like he's Jamaican. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the kidnapper. Definitely an island boy. Well, have you seen him? All alone in that big house. That doesn't mean she'd kidnap her. I can see that she's now you're just being messy. I felt too much love. Messy is what he's trying to tell you. Last. What time is it? Uh, it must be a little after midnight by now, I'm sure. The search is starting without me. I have to get my coat. Uh, you'll forgive me, Mr. Conway. Uh, yes, good night. Okay, so he's going to help look like a responsible. Citizen. 
All right, let me just back it on up here. Oops, actually, I want to turn some more. Go this way. Oh, they're letting me roll right over the crime scene. So the kidnapper smashed his this. during the altercation. Yes, it seems they did. Anything else here? Anything else that I can uh, investigate? No? No, just the light? Well, I'm sure the police would have seen anything. I just rolled over the evidence. Like a goober. Mr. Moon mm. must have taken quite a hit. So they beat this guy up and kidnapped the daughter? Because the other scene we saw in the beginning, the girl was kidnapped out of her room. So, hmm. Interesting. I think I've gotten a bit of the hang of it now. Good evening, Mr. Egan. How strange times we live in when a girl can be taken on our doorstep. It ain't wrong. It's a bloody mess. Did you Jeez. see what happened at all? No. Uh, how well did you know Charlotte May? You lived next door. You must have seen her a lot. Detective Jess! I hope they're going to clean this mess up tonight. I've got business to run. Basically, he doesn't sure care. This must be a great too. That reminds me. Rent day tomorrow. I'll be late. Wow. Somebody's child is missing and you're worried about the rent? Yeah. May I ask what piece of work. No. Hmm. Suspicious. I got thought. Very, very suspicious. Suspicious! But let's roll ourselves somewhere else. Conway, may I have a moment? Oh, so she wants to talk to us. Okay. Oh, just just let me get my chair over there, madam. Just give me a moment. Bear with me. Gotta get my sea legs. Do you know what's happened? Never mind all that. Your daughter is a police officer, is she not? Oh, that's his daughter. Okay. Yeah. His daughter is Catherine. Ah, yes. But oh, I was gonna say, do I just reach my hand out? Broach. Take it. A brooch. I found it on the floor here. It probably belonged to that poor girl. I mean, I'm sure it did. Pick it up before Shirley Downs gets her hands on it. What do you mean by that? Never mind. Perhaps you can make sure it finds its way to your daughter. I will. And thank you for telling me. Just doing my duty. Can you tell me what you meant about Shirley? Good night, Mr. Conway. No, 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 no. You called me over here. Why is everybody being like this? I mean, I know nobody wants to be interrogated, but there is a child missing. Surely, somebody's got to care or want to help pass. You know, I've said too much. Ooh, walk away mysteriously. What kind of community is this? This is a neighborly love. It's a terrible neighborhood. I'm starting to see why she's missing. Oh, I just ran over the evidence again. But I have a small child. A psychopath? Oh god, are we looking for a psychopath? Aren't we? We're looking for a psycho. 
I guess that's it. Back ourselves up here. The neighborhood that minds its own business so they don't get took. Everyone else is old. You shouldn't even be worried about it at that point. There is an eight year old missing. Uh, am I rolling back down? Oh my gosh, I'm really rolling away right now. Good mechanics of the game. That would actually happen. Miss Stouts, do you have a note? I'm sorry. Early. What did you say? I can come back if you need some time. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just... I always forget to bring juice with me. Well, maybe I can. What do you mean by that? Not everyone in daily views as they see, Mr. Conway. I mean, yeah. We all knew that. Son of a bitch right there. With a smug look on his face. Mr. Le Why not? I mean, what do you really know about him? He's the landlord. And suspicious. Oh, I agree. Sadly, I do. He's up to something. You must have noticed all the strange deliveries coming and going at night. You think he took Charlotte May? I think so. But it probably wasn't him. What are you missing? You've experienced Mr. Conway. You'll excuse me, I need to have the police with that search. Why does everyone start a conversation and then walk away mid helpfulness? Wait, where, where, where is he? Am I, am I going this way? Am I? Oh, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. Let's I not go this way? I don't think I can go this way. Okay, yeah, I can't go that way. Oh, he's right there. It was hard to see. Oh, I'm on the curb. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mayor. My, My name, name is Robert Conway. I live in Flag 23. Yes, uh, I see you around, Mr. Conway. Well, you see, I thought I'd better come over and check you're okay. Some of our neighbors seem to be tempting you to stay. I'm so sorry to have lost your daughter. Very kind of you. I'm sorry, but I'm late joining the search. I've been talking to the police for over an hour. Of course. Understandable. The police officer you spoke to was most likely your daughter. Is that so? Yes, she's a very determined young lady. If anyone is going to find your daughter, it's her. I was once a private investigator myself. Well, it's comforting to know I'm surrounded by such competent minds, Mr. Conway. I'd like to offer my services to you, if you need anything. That's very kind, but I don't have money, I'm afraid. Mr. Morgan, no. We're doing this pro bono. I meant to say that I have your support. Very generous, but the police said that all I'd be doing is observing and talking to you. Basically, I'm an undercover detective. My daughter, the police officer. Right, of course. That reminds me. I have this brooch. Does, Does this mean anything to you? That's Charlotte May's. Can you see how the simplest detail can make a difference? Even well, why are you touching it then? It might have fingerprints. Well, why am I touching it, I guess? May I have it back, please? No. Yeah, yes, of course. If you think it would help, I would very much like you to return it back. As soon as I have something to report back to you, you have a couple of days. So, when, 
Where do you suppose you begin? Well, right here. In daily view? Yes. yes. In small clues, there is usually somebody knows that. But do you mean to tell me that one of my neighbours has my gun? Maybe. No, no, I'm merely saying that it's a logical way to start. Oh, I see. That's why the police searched my house. Because I'm a suspect, I suppose. That's, That's the way it works. I'm sorry. Is it still echoing? As if it is, it's probably because I have the TV playing the sound, and I'm not using headphones. I can switch if that's uh, going to be easier. On the echoing. I'll stop at nothing to help you. For now, I need you to think of anyone who could have taken a shot at me. I don't know. Is it still echoing, though? Because I'm, I'm not like hearing any of the dialogue, I'm just reading it. your point. Well, for now, perhaps try to get some rest. Charlotte may need you to be stronger. You'll excuse me, Mr. Conway. I'm going to join the search and find my little girl. That's fair enough, Mr. Conway. Good night, and good luck. Good night, and good luck. That's from a movie. Yeah, I'll get my, um, I'll get my headphones real quick. Uh, be right back. I don't want it to echo through the whole video. That would be, that would be gross. All right. Got juice. Got my headphones on. Let's read. How do we read the notepad entries? Okay, there we go. But yeah, that font is just like crazy small. Good Lord. And I left the light on, but oh well. We don't need to be completely dark in here. That would only make the vibes vibier. Mm. But really, it just says return to house. So. Ooh. <laughs> Why did I back up like this? I don't think I'm going the right way home, but I think I, mm, wow, I'm really bad at this. Oh, maybe this was the way. Dad? But I definitely didn't come down the steps. Catherine, I thought I might bump into you tonight. Well, I shouldn't be here, not with you living so close, in conflict of interest and all. Are you finished here? Almost, yes. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's poor Charlotte May I'm worried about. Anyway, look at you. I rarely get to see you in your uniform. You look good. Thank you. Oh, no, no, I can't hear through my headphones. Catherine, can I ask, what have you found? allowed to tell you you know that but i will read it i'm, I'm a speed reader i don't have all the details myself and my sergeant isn't exactly forthcoming with new recruits hang in there you're an asset they'll come to see how intelligent you are thank you all i can say is that it looks as though tony morgan's daughter has been kidnapped awful news may i ask why they're searching the pinewoods do they know where the kidnapper went? No. It's a dead Let's end. see. So why are we getting involved if they don't want us involved? I mean, I know why we are, but... Dear God. I just wonder if I should talk to my neighbors again. Again? Yes, Catherine. I've been thinking and... Dad. What? I know this is happening on your doorstep. Please, don't get any ideas. Well, I've already got ideas. You know that. You don't do this anymore. Leave it to us, please. No, I don't think I will, but I'm going to tell you that because you're my daughter and I don't want you to worry. I'd like to help. I want to do this on my own. I didn't realize what this means to you. 
I meant to say, I want to do it the right way. By the book? She wants to be by the book. Okay. I, I promise. I leave the police work up to you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd better be off. I have to make a statement before the morning press. My sergeant is finally trusting me with something. Well, you'd better hurry. I'll look out for your article in the morning paper. Right. I'm off. Well, I mean, she seems pretty capable. Night, my love. Night, Dad. Well, you guys can hear my neighbors. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. I suppose I'll still develop the photos I've taken of the crime scene. I might have captured something that the police did not. And I won't be stepping on Catherine's toes if I stay in my flat, out of the way. The next morning. Hmm. I may have to restart the stream if I can't hear through my headphones. Which sucks. I do want to hear what they're saying. I mean, not that I can't just read it, but I want to hear what you guys are hearing. The police have marked out several oh, pieces of second. related to the attack. However, Mrs. Doer handed me a brooch that was found at the scene. Mr. Morgan later confirmed it belonged to Charlotte. Okay, so the brooch. The brooch be a missing piece. Brooch should be a missing piece of the puzzle. That's a question to solve evidence for. Can it depend from the question to the relevant piece of evidence? Let me try unplugging this first. All right. So let's resume. Answer the questions to solve the evidence board. Connect the pin from the question to a piece of evidence. Connect evidence. I wonder if finding where the brooch was dropped could help build a better picture of the attacker's movements. I look at this. Oh, she found it probably around here. Um, oop, uh, get, get, there we go. Uh, let's review. So, if Mrs. Doe was right about where she found the brooch, it means the kidnapper must have come past her manor house at some point during the abduction. Well, I forgot to get Catherine's brooch. There just hasn't been a good time. Did you forget? It sounds like I have mail. Seems like you may not have forgotten. But I digress. Wait. There sounds like I have mail? I should check what that mail was through my door. I'm going, I'm going. Now what's this? Oh, that's handy. Never thought of having a little basket on the other side of the mail slot. Good idea, actually. Suspects. I apologize for my shortness last night, Mr. Conway. I realized that you were trying to help me. I've already told the police, but the only people who I think could have taken my Charlotte May are our neighbors. The McKees, Harold Levy, Shirley Downs, and old Mrs. Dower all have access to the courtyard. 
You said yourself, and I think you might be on to something. More eyes on the case can only be a good thing. Thank you again for offering to help. T. Morgan Mr. Morgan's note implicates most of his neighbors. I had suspected as much, but now I have something solid to work with. I don't know why I read that in the lady's Catherine voice. Has asked me not to get involved. Aw, Charlotte! Promised, Mr. Morgan, I'll find Charlotte May. We'll find you, Charlotte! There and then. I'm already involved. Yeah, you lied to your daughter. She's gonna be pissed. But, I mean, you lied to her for a good reason. Can't hurt to have all eyes on the case. That drive, that first pull at the yard. It's all on this evidence board. Suspects, victims, items found at the scene. I have everything. All that remains is to watch over my neighbors until one of them makes a mistake. And I can still give Catherine her space. If the whole town is searching the pine woods, someone needs to keep an eye over Dahlia View. So they're calling it Dahlia View and not Dahlia View. Maybe it's an American English thing that I'm saying Dahlia and they're saying Dahlia. Which I mean, fair enough, you know, fair enough. I'm going to get chased in this game because I don't want to get chased in a wheelchair. I feel like that's cruel to chase a guy in a wheelchair, even though you're probably kidnapping and murdering. I don't know. That's that's punching below the belt. To chase a guy in a wheelchair. Don't chase a guy in a wheelchair. Especially one that's new to wheelchair mechanics. I'd been sitting watching my neighbors on and off for hours. But I've seen nothing of any use for my evidence board. Well, I doubt Tell going downhill is going to help. The keys were acting strangely around Charlotte May. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. Fantastic. Echo gone. And I can fire. still see it on my TV. So far, I'm going to turn my lights off, though. Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Only time will tell. Ambiance. Half ambiance, because I left the other lights on on accident. All right. Let's look at not suspicious Theodore. So not suspicious that we don't even have to zoom in on him. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. And by their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? Where are you going, honey bunny? This is like some grade A spying right here. He seems quite eager to talk. Well, dang, he just grabbed her. I feel a little bad, but. Stay strong, Theodore. It's going to be all right. She does talk a lot, so I guess that could be kind of a. Wait, where are they going? Where are, they, where are they going? Oh, I'm already zoomed out. Where'd they go? Oh, what's this? Might have to zoom in a little further. He's evicting one of my neighbors. Oh, that's what that is. It's not related to the McKees. 
Yeah, but they're go oh, they're they're back. They're back. I still have no idea what the problem is. Perhaps I'm supposed to be watching them, and I'm looking at everybody to... else. Sorry, I'm spying on you guys from my window. Not creepy at all. Just trying to find a missing child here. Don't look out of your window and see me staring at you with my high-powered telephoto lens that I've probably got on 30x zoom. And now, oh, Annabelle is... Annabelle has seen something just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. What on earth is it? Why don't we shimmy over to the window and ask her to move some things in my line of sight here. Going to see you if you don't stop zooming in. Yep, she's gonna see me. Oh, a knife. Uh oh. Theodore, run! She's got a knife. Don't let her kill you, Theodore. You're she's, the only one in the game of to... color. No. She wants Theo to use it. Yeah, don't let her frame you, Theo. Let her frame you. She's clearly the mastermind here, but they're not going to see it that way. I've got your alibi. It's a pretty good size mallet there. He doesn't know which one to use. Don't use either. Oh, Theodore, what has she done to you? Whatever it is, uh, take pause of yourself. Don't do it. Theo, who are you talking to? Is that a practice swing? Dear God. Well, what? that's probably I the right made... decision, but... You're jumping to conclusions. Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit... something with a mallet. He didn't hit anything. He punched the I didn't air. actually see anything. No proof. No proof. No evidence at all. No evidence. Oh no, 40 minutes later. Annabelle is back at the door. Okay, hurry. Go. Go. Now how can he hear them out of the window? Oh no. This is gonna look so suspicious. Shit. What are you doing? Well, it would help me. I'm not touching that thing. That it's not her, though. It's your idea. My idea. <laughs> it's not her. Theo's not a killer. But that Annabelle. Suspicious. Get it out of here. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Hurry up! I agree with Theo. I'm the one doing all the heavy lifting over here. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely evening. Uh, 
Yes, I suppose so. Please, if, if you don't mind, I have something... It's just awfully sad, isn't it? Please, I really do need to be going. Oh, I'm so sorry, of course. It, it's fine, Annabelle. If there's anything I can do, you won't hesitate to ask. So why'd she stop him? Damn it. Because it's clearly not her in the carpet. Catherine, ask me not to get involved. Don't. But, but, but this... And she's not in the carpet. She's suspicious looking. It's not over until it's over. Well, he's posting flyers. I think I need to pay the McKees personal call. Aww, poor thing. Where is she? She's gone? She must have went back in the house. So what do we know so far, ladies and gents? There's a young girl missing. We know that. We have suspects, or should I say suspect, because Theo didn't do anything wrong. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's all we got. I've barely slept at all. I can't fully explain what I observed last night, and I can't shake the image of Charlotte May in the McKee's pantry. Not I'm in the pantry. Helpless. Can, can I? Okay. Let's say, can I turn that on? Conway's flat, one day missing. Well, for every day you're missing, it's even harder to find you, unfortunately. At least that's what I know of real life. Every day they don't find you, it's going to take significantly longer. If at all. When Charlotte May is found, I need to take another holiday. Catherine would love to see Pinwheel again, I'm sure. Ooh. Seems like a lifetime ago. Look at you got a name. war medal. Nice. British intelligence saves the day. King's Regiment Officer Robert Conway's quick thinking under fire led to saving the lives of over 20 men when a radio transmission was intercepted. Staff Sergeant Michael Williams said that Conway, 22, decoded the transmission in record time. A scouting party was about to be sent directly into enemy territory when, moments before, Robert Conway sprang into action and managed to steal a Jerry radio and intercept their battle plans. The 20 men he saved later proved to be vital in the war effort. For more, turn to page 5. Nice. What's this? Damn. I can't read that at all. Good lord. I cannot read this. Okay, I can read it now. Woo! Value of View Terrace, receipt for payment of rent. R. Conway, tenant of 23 Dahlia View Terrace, has paid blank and rent on the 23rd May 1954 to the landlord Harold Levy. Okay, so he's got a receipt. I thought the days of me developing reel after reel of film were behind me. I almost miss it. Bar the mess. Let's zoom in a little bit. Eh, nothing of importance. Jeez. Edison. Utabarbitin. 30 tablets. Tablets contain with alcohol. What are these for? Uh, 
Oh, he's got another camera on his back. The police are searching out in Riverport. They haven't seen what I have. And it's too soon to involve them. What if I'm wrong? Mm. Is it too soon? And you could always say you were concerned. But then they think you're being, I guess, nosy. Anything out here I can look at? No? Alright. Let's, let's back up a bit. I can either go this way. My old case files. Some I'd rather forget. How would they let you keep those? That's what I would like to know. Why would they let you keep those? Oh, he's using it as a dark room. I see. Some scissors. It's a film reel case that's empty. Um, I think. That's how you turn the tap on. That's how you turn it off. Okay. All set up and ready to go. Now, to gather some evidence from the McGee's. Okay. That all seems normal. Oops, I had it back up. Nope, I'm going the, I'm going the wrong way. I'll leave my bag if I'm going to gather any real evidence. Where is it? Where's your bag? As clearly your bag is on you already. Where is that not it? I guess that's a tape recorder. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Pretty. I don't see a bag. Ah, uh, here it is. Now, to find out what the McKees were doing in that pantry. I mean, really, we're just, we were spying on him. That's what we were doing. So I guess that is our bad, because we probably should have been doing that. From my observations, they have something to hide. Uh, gain inch. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to run away, aren't we? This is breaking and entering. We're about to breaking and entering as a wheelchair-bound elderly man. We're going to jail. I guess it's been nice being free. Because our daughter's definitely going to put us in jail. Just as soon as I get cozy with a blanket here. Annabelle was forcing Thea to use the mallet in the pantry. It's clear that she's in charge of the relationship. I mean, yeah, I, I figured that. Hmm. He's not a violent person, as I said. And Theo's just doing whatever Annabelle wants him to do. Because, I mean, this is his wife. 
Anything else I need to get out of here? No? Alright, let's let's get out of here. Let's go break and enter. I want a table? No. There's one chair in case a visitor comes. Well, she's home, so I don't think they're going to let me in. They're certainly not going to let me break in. You know what I mean? Let's back up a little. Okay, now we can get in. If the McKees really did kill Charlotte May last night, there must be some evidence left in that pantry. That they would never in a million years let you see before they cleaned it up. You know what I mean? Oops, which one am I going? What am I doing? I'm a terrible driver. Of this wheelchair. I'm a pretty good driver normally. Okay, G floor. Um, ah, A McKee. The McKees live at number eight on this floor. Go back up and go this way. Because that's where four through eight are. I wonder if there's anything left to find at all. What if I'm too? That could be anything. Not suspicious. Hello. Hello, Mrs. McKee. We spoke a few days ago. Yes. Uh, please call me Annabelle. Annabelle, of course. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to you. That's fine. I'm sorry, how is it I can help Mr. Conway? Well, it's all a bit sensitive, I'm afraid. I, I wondered if I might have a word in private, if you would. Uh, well, I... Mrs. McKee, Annabelle, I'd rather not state my purpose out here in the hallway where any one of your neighbors might be listening. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, no, I would not. You may not come in. Of course. Why, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment? Excellent idea. I promise not to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you have your hands full. So, what's the purpose of all this, Mr. Conway? I hope it's not about what we... Well, why don't you get to it? Of course. Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm sure you've heard that I was once a private investigator. Was once. Well, nonetheless... Mr. Morgan has asked me if I would look into everyone who knew Charlotte May. I see. And so you've come to look at us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, let me be straight. I've been an investigator my entire life, and I have a sense about people, you might say. Is that so? I don't think you or your husband have anything to hide. In fact, this might be a waste of time altogether, but I think it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease. If I ask some 
basic questions anyway. What do you say? Trying to pull the wool over her eyes. As long as it's not too long, is it? Oh, no, of course not. All I need you to do is tell me, in your own words, what you did on the night that Charlotte May was taken. Right. But I thought... Before you begin, I'm, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind if I used your laboratory? No, not at all. It's right behind you. Thank you. And please, Annabelle, you look worried. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. She's lying. It's written all over her. Time to find No her. hold and drag. Oh gosh. What? Oh, I see. Hold and drag. Gotcha. Mr. Conway? Can I offer you a cup of tea? Uh... Yes, uh, two sugars. Is she gonna leave? Oh. So now I need to remember that I said two sugars because otherwise it's gonna throw her off that I'm lying. I thought she'd never leave. This is McKee. One day peak time return from Riverport to Turning City. The night that Charlotte May went missing. Why would that be in their bathroom? Why am I snooping through the bathroom? Is out of town. Oh, Charlotte Annabelle clearly didn't use this tram ticket. Am I not gonna be able to read it? Oh, okay, I gotta unfold it. Now I can read it. It's a doctor's note addressed to Annabelle. The painting? Oh. She was pregnant. Oh, but she didn't get the baby. That's sad, but she most likely had a miscarriage, or they did a DNC. Sad still, though, right? I don't think there's anything else in here that I can look at. And I definitely need to close the door back behind me. Oh, you know what? I probably need to move this perfume bottle back too. Oh, I guess I can't. Anything else? No? Nothing else? Nothing hiding under the soap? She's gonna start getting suspicious. But I am an old man, so it kind of takes me. But they all have the same soap. Rotate it real quick. There's nothing nefarious hiding. Mm. 
All right, let's close this door back. Let's leave the bathroom. So if I'm missing evidence, do I get to come back I later? Apologize. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were going to tell me what you were doing on the night that Charlotte... Did she lock the door? I've been thinking about it and there's not much to say. Literally anything would help. Well, I remember it clearly. I think everyone here knows exactly where they were. It was so shocking. Uh, I'd made Theo his tea in the afternoon at about three. We wrapped up him to have later. He was working all day over at Levy's garage and performing later that night. I went to the shops at some point, I think. I didn't see hmm. Charlotte May at all that day. And I was mm -hmm. out for most of the night. I Bet you weren't. The last time I saw her was on the Wednesday. She was playing outside between her homeschooling, as I recall. So she's homeschooled. Uh, I think I want to talk about performing. I'll stop you there if you don't mind. Instead of Theo's performance, I think it would be more beneficial to talk about what you and your husband were doing whilst Charlotte May was being taken. Right. I see. What time was that? You don't remember clearly. I was sitting in my flat at the time. Ten o'clock is when I first noticed something was happening. I had a good view from my window. I imagine you'd have a good view from your kitchen window also. Perhaps even your pantry. Actually, Mr. Conway, I'm sorry. I feel awfully uncomfortable talking about this without Theo here. I think it's best I don't answer anything he might object to. Yeah, you're right. I completely agree. He usually takes his break about now, does he not? Perhaps. Would it be possible of you to go and get him so that we might continue the conversation? I don't think that's a good idea, Mr. Conway. I spooked her. Fact, I think I'd feel better if we ended the conversation here, if it's all the same to you. No, no, you're right. If you don't feel it appropriate, then best not to bother him. I spooked her. Well, I was hoping to clear it all up today, you see. I'd hate to have to bother you tomorrow or the day after, or even the day after that. <laughs> it's not in my character to be a nuisance. However, I did promise Mr. Morgan. Perhaps I'll return later on. Wait. If it's not going to take too long, I could fetch him now, and we could resolve the matter. Mrs. McKee, if you would do that for me, it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease, I'm sure. Oh, Christ. Okay, well, I think it's best you come with me. Oh, I fear I'd only slow you down. Uh, no, you're not staying in my house. No, I'll wait here for your time. Fine, just... Wait here. Why do people do such obviously not in their best interest things? He has no right to stay in your house, and yet you just agreed to it. Now, to get that key down. The police are still here. I hope Catherine doesn't see me like this. Annabelle was holding this last night. It doesn't look as though they used it. Ram it. It's moving. I knew it. Almost there. So then how are you going to get it back up there? Because you're in a wheelchair and she's going to notice. Well, that was easier than I thought. Charlotte, 
Will you in here? Give me something. So far, nothing, except for this loose screw. Great. Need to cut. Carry along. Citra Fresh Bleach. Looks as though they scrubbed the place clean last night. Well stocked. There was nothing out of the ordinary here. Throw that back down. Dang it, I can't. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. I just may have blown my own cover. Please let me be wrong. Bleached head, head to toe. toe. I'm too late. late. There's nothing left to see. I need to re screw it. I can't put that back down. I do need to get out of here before they come back. They're not back yet. Then there's still time to search the flat. Down's family recipes to my darling daughters Annabelle and Shirley. Love, Mom. Hmm. New age woman. Okay. Easy enough. Actually, can I put the pantry key back? I'm pretty sure they're going to look for that. Beat music. Sweetness had to die. Something in my mind knows I was wrong. No, I shouldn't have done it. Now you're gone. Sweetness had to die. My love said goodbye. Now all I have is my guilt in this song. Okay. So suspicious. No objective. 
The cello case is locked. Um, where would I find loot? There's a note of a fireplace on the other side. I'm just taking all their stuff. Since I can't take this note. Theo's room, no doubt. So he performs. Oh. Interrupted vinyl. Need to go back. What? That doesn't make any sense. Not bad. So he's a good musician, but she frequently interrupts. Yeah, that kind of Easter Island head do they have? Let's put everything back the way we found it. We got a lot of instruments. Jazz, Riverport Pavilion Jazz Festival. Locked. How does one open a piano for? He's a slob. Well, I mean, this is piano. Music sheets. Presumably Theo's songs. Something's blocking these keys from the other side. Now, what do you know? I don't know a great deal about musical instruments, but this doesn't look expensive. Where do you put the pin in? I've played the piano and I don't know where you would put it. Ah.
money. Forty-five pounds. If I were a lesser man, I'd take it and live comfortably for the rest of the game. There's no way Theo's boss pays him this much. Can I put any of this back the way that I found it? Yes, not. So basically, they're just going to know I was in here snooping. Happened to just leaving the crime scene untouched. I wonder what was last written on this notepad. Nothing. It's, there's no pencil. Nice of them to be gone for so long for me to search their entire apartment. in the fireplace. I can't get it out with my bare hands. Nothing interesting. Oh, pencil. Annabelle's Diary. I had an argument with Shirley today. I hate it when we argue, and I know she means well, but sometimes I just need someone to listen and not judge. I said some things that I'm not proud of. Shirley really means everything to me, and I can't hear the thought, bear, bear the thought of losing her. 
But when she told me to grow up and take responsibility, I couldn't handle it. I told myself I would be a better person this year. It's time to apologize and show her that I love her as much as she loves me. A sister's love is forever. Hmm. Okay. Are we just gonna leave the book open? Oh gosh. If I can We are not covering our tracks at all. Not gonna let me know. It's the bathroom again, right? Yeah, it's the bathroom. Okay. Cello case was at 1932. H call doctors back. H from 8 p.m. Thursday, 22nd. Bring a change of clothes. Make sure Theo's gig is still on first. There's no date. Can't link it to the kidnapping. Empty of the letter. Theo, I'm so happy you wrote us back. Mother needs that medicine desperately. The doctor says she could die. I have to ask you to be quick as she's getting worse by every day. It's a blood thinning medicine she needs. I think you can get it only in your country and it's very expensive. Thank you again. By the way, how's my English? You taught me well, big brother. I hope that soon one day I will come to stay with you in your big fancy house in England. Till then, I will keep this house running. I'm the woman of the house now while mother is ill. Please write back soon to me, Theo. All my love, Latrice. Theo has a sister back home somewhere. Well, he's probably keeping that from old girl.
There's a burnt note in the fireplace. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get to that. Uh, the old sheet music says that he's having a lot of guilt. Perhaps he feels bad about Charlotte May. He's musically gifted. He's wasted working for Harold. Uh, music. But he isn't going to pay his bills. Not when 45 pounds is going to keep you through the rest of the year. Seems to be a list of medicines. Medicine notes. It's Annabelle's sister. Look, if you're in there, I want what I say about the other night. Are you there? I love you, Anna. You know that, don't you? Everything I say, I... I say it because I want to protect you. Anyway, I'm... toasting the tea back to you, Bedell. So now I have the keys to their flat whenever I want. Not great, but I'll take it. Is there anything else I need to look for? Mm, gain entry, search, uh, cello case. Not much is left, I think. What door is this? Key three it is. This must be that bedroom. This is clearly Annabelle's space. I need to sleep with all them flowers. Perfume. Lipstick. What's in the box? Nothing. Like, uh, Surely Theo's wage can't pay for all this. Lid. Oops. Yes, it can. Blue mist. Looks brand new. Oh wait, there's a drawer. Another letter. Furious. Annabelle 
Meredith McKee. I can't believe what you've done. You should have come to me with this. I'm your sister, for God's sake. I would have talked you out of it. Let's just be thankful that mother isn't allowed to see your disgrace to see you disgrace yourself. You should have told me. I'm furious at you, but I promise I'm still here for you. Your sisters and I won't change. Your secret is safe with me, but we need to talk soon. So did she lose the baby or did she not want the baby and have an abortion? Or did I don't know. I'm confused on that right now. Yeah, they've been going an awfully long time. Almost like they want me to snoop through their house. In front of their open windows. Where everybody could clearly see me. There's a lot. Oh, I had one of these with a little ballerina. Shelley and Annabelle are close sisters. I don't know what they're currently arguing about, but they seem to love each other very much. Good to know. One earring, another earring. It needs something to wind it. this Laura saw lavender scented bleach more bleach lavender scented bleach smells fresh well, the whole place is clean Annabelle is obsessed with cleaning. Absolutely spotless. You'd never even know a mechanic lived here. They've got a window right next to the bathtub. I mean, I guess I do too, but I used to, but. They had a view of Mr. Morgan's home. They could have easily seen Charlotte May every day. Have I seen everything? I feel like I haven't.
Try to get out of here. Clearly haven't seen everything. It'd be a lot quicker. I think I was stuck. I think we're stuck. I really don't know what else to do here. We're stuck. These are just average, ordinary toothbrushes. Nothing to see here. So, how the heck do I get back out of here? Annabelle keeps a spotless home. Annabelle has expensive taste. Shirley loves Annabelle enough to have a custom engraved music box made for her. How do I... What would I even use this on? I don't know. I'm so lost of why I'm stuck in this bathroom. Like, am I missing something and that's why it won't let me go back? Oh, I didn't shake it. What on earth is inside? I did not shake it. I wasted my own time. Ooh. That's not bleach. It's the winder. Close that back. Now I can leave the bathroom because I've gotten everything. I enjoyed seeing you the other night. We should do it again soon. I hope you enjoyed the blue mist. 
That stuff isn't cheap. You're oh, she cheating on Theo. Call me three two eight three. Me in Ooh, cheating. Cheating on Theo. Let's just put it right back. Oops. So I'm assuming this is three, two, eight, three. Thank God I remembered what key I used, because we were about to get caught. Hello, Theodore. And says Tony Morgan asked you to investigate his daughter's disappearance? That's right, but I'm sure she's also told you that it's merely a form. I was just telling Mr. Conway he's wasting his time, because we don't know anything about it. Uh, aren't you retired, Mr. Conway? Well, I'm not here officially, Mr. McKee, just as a friend of Tony Morgan's. But I do appreciate you making well, like Anne said, we had nothing to do with Charlotte May, so I don't know how I could help. And I don't have long, I'm afraid. Mr. Levy isn't very happy with me stepping out of work. I appreciate it all the same. Well, do you? Shall we move into the living room? Of course. I think your Please. wife's cheating on you, Theo. I'll be with you in a moment. Now, please... I'd like to know what you were doing at the time of the attack, if you wouldn't mind. Maybe start at 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? Well, I was at a gig that night, so I was playing down at the Sugar Ducks, men's club. Harold, my boss, hasn't paid me for a few months, so I've had to start making money elsewhere. I remember I got home around 10, 40, I think. I went straight into my music room. I had a song in my head I just had to get out. <clears throat> so nothing to do with Charlotte May. You say you had to start making money elsewhere. A little, yes. A little? Hmm. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, Harold Levy hadn't been paying me, so... Why not, if you don't mind me asking? I think he has a few money problems. Mm, mm, it's mm. not my place to ask, and he doesn't tell Then me I would not be working for just him. That he's not paying you. Sure. So how much money have you made elsewhere? Enough to get by. Well, that's all any of us can hope for, isn't it? I have trouble paying my bills myself, as you can probably imagine. You'll have to tell me your secret, where you... Make your extra cash. I'm sorry. 
What does this have to do with Charlotte May? Hopefully nothing. I'm sorry. We're off topic. You will forgive me. It's fine, Mr. Conway. Uh, should I carry on? Well, please do. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were saying you'd entered your music room. Mm hmm mm hmm Anyway, I think I was in my music room all the way up until... I'll be with you both in a second. Don't wait for me. Okay, my love. Um, I was in my room until Anne called me out. Uh, she heard a smash or something. Uh, Anne was visiting a friend that night, but I think she was back just before me. And I think she was in her bedroom. So, by all accounts, she's the one who heard it. Ah. Uh, yeah, Bill, huh? You didn't hear the smash yourself? Uh, no. Uh, there aren't any windows in my music room. And I was writing a song at my piano. So Annabelle heard it and came in to get you? Mm-hmm. Well, you say you heard a smash or something. Could you think back and tell me exactly what happened? Anne came in. She said, uh, something's going on outside, that I should take a look. Uh, that was when I realized she was home, uh, and... And that's when you came out and looked. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. And you say you didn't know Annabelle was home yet? Like I said, I couldn't hear anything. What with my music? So she could have been home longer? <laughs> I suppose. But I don't think she was. And what did you see once you were outside? Tony Morgan, laying on the floor. All our neighbors taking a look. Then the police came. Nothing else? Not Charlotte May, not the kidnapper? Mm -mm. They spoke to you briefly. Fair enough. Please, as you were saying. So anyway, it couldn't have been Anne or me, you see. Because we weren't here most of the night. Uh, and in any case, the sugar ducks are a good 20-minute walk away. Uh, people would have noticed if I was missing from my gig, wouldn't you think? Uh, I I'm sorry. I I'm confused. Is this all you want to know? Uh, what I was doing that night? Nothing else? Who would have noticed you? What people would have noticed you missing? A neighbor, perhaps? Anyone from Daily View? No, just the locals at the Sugar Ducks. Your boss, Harold, does he ever come to watch you play? Not very often, no. Hmm. Doesn't he like your music? I think he does. He's just a busy man. I don't understand. Are you going to be speaking with him too? Oh, well, probably. Perhaps. It depends where my investigation leads me. Investigation? Forgive me. Old habits. I meant to say this conversation. Uh, perhaps just carry on with uh, what you were saying. Sorry about that. I was making sure that things were uh, where we left them. I was mm. just saying that Mr. Conway is wasting his like time. Like the key because I forgot we about? Out of town for most of the night. Isn't that right, Ma'am? Uh, um. You were at a friend's, weren't you? You already paid for a tram ticket. That's why you couldn't come to the gig. Well, actually, Theo, I wanted to talk to you about that, but it can wait till later. Talk to me about what? Mm -mm. Tell him you're out of town. Don't you have to get back to work? Oh, no. Actually, you're putting two and two I together. I do have to go, Mr. Conway. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. You'll excuse me. Thank you for your time, Theodore. So you paid for your tram ticket. I wonder what good a ticket is if you don't end up using it. Perhaps you forgot where you were that night. Mr. Conway, I think you've more than outstayed your welcome. I don't know why I agreed to talk to you in the first place. You must think me awfully dense if you think I don't know what you were doing while I was gone. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Do you understand? This is a job for the police, not some old has-been playing detective. Oh, no, she didn't go there. Dense? No, not at all. 
In fact, I think you're smarter than you're letting on. Smart enough to have your husband kill a child and then cover it up in the dead of night. Get he did not say that out loud. He did say that out loud. Well, we probably ruined that lead. I think that went as well as could have been expected. No, it did not go well at all. From talking to the McKees, it seems apparent that they were both in Dilyview at the time Charlotte May was taken. Annabelle and Theo were clearly hiding something. I observed mm -hmm. them getting rid of a rolled up rug and saw Theo use a mallet for God only knows what. And now they know you were snooping in their house. It relates to Charlotte May. And a few questions still remain. Positive that Charlotte May was in that pantry. But can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? No, you can't. 45 pounds is a large sum. In my experience, with the kind of money made on the black market, Theo doesn't seem like someone driven by greed. So, what possible motive could compel him to kidnap and sell a young girl? Uh, well, I, I know that. I definitely know that. Nope. Hmm. Zoom in to read that. Good lord. Child abduction. Uh. Here to arrive. Family letter. Family no letter from this point an instrument case must be important. Not done. What just happened. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm going to need to read it. It's so small. That is the most ex well, she said it was expensive. 
So what's 12, 2, 2, 8? Okay. Web thing tablets. Warfarin product code. Web thing tablets. 12, 2, 2, 8. The question here? I'm positive that Charlotte May was in her pantry. But can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? No, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Ooh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Or so bleak. Product is for domestic use. This is blood of vitamin and salty deposit. Nitro fresh bleed. Keep away from small children or really the gloves of a fine period of use. What's this? This. this is a matter so I've been holding. Is that it? No? I don't think that's it. What is this thing? I can't even see it. We're probably in this place. I can't read it. I cannot read it like this. But I don't like. When you get up close, you don't even get to see all of it. Vehicles missing or presumed stolen. Three wheeler, yellow sparrow, tan ladybird hatchback with red passenger side door, brown KP double runner van with uh, something ornament. Dang it, I can't read that. Sky blue Helton Prestige Caravan with Walnut Trim. Silver Aspen Merlin two cylinder. Fire Antiques. Brown KP double runner van with Eagle Bonnet ornament. Uh, 
right, I'm onto something. Now, what does the rest of it mean? Oh, I solved this one. So it was this bleach. I can actually transfer that back, but I don't think I need that. I should read every detail on the evidence. Ah. Uh, haven't quite gotten this down yet. Don't think that's the wrong thing. I mean, oh, you know what? Maybe I picked the wrong one. Maybe it is supposed to be. 42, which I didn't get there. Uh, move that. Now we got it. I was right, so, I just had the, the wrong pill. Something living. The crystallization proves it. Then they carried it down to the boot of a car. The only possible motive I can see is that Theo needed money to pay for his mother's medication. A life for a life. Could Theo really be that cold? I got the impression that Annabelle was in charge. It's not enough. I can't accuse them without something solid. I'll have to keep an eye on the McKees and continue. Hi, Dad. Dad? <laughs> I think we need a little chat about your neighbors. No. McKees? No. Damn. I can't let her see this after I made a promise. Now, why is this door closed? Dad, are you back there? Perhaps I should just come out with it. I don't know. Hello? No, it's his daughter. I'm afraid not. He, he must be out. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Too. Right. Game is really interesting. I'm enjoying it so I far. Now. Not after what I've seen. I'll just have to make sure I find something that Catherine can use in her investigation. I can't stop now. You say that, but I'm pretty sure she's still gonna be pissed off either way. I mean, you find a child, which should be a good thing, but then you kind of trample all over her at the same time. So, you find someone else's daughter, you lose your own. I've spent the morning watching the McKees, waiting for them to make a mistake, to do something that proves them guilty of killing Charlotte. But what if I'm wrong? What if I saw what I wanted to and there was nothing in that rug? If I had hard evidence, I would have told Catherine already. I have nothing but suspicions. I should be looking at everyone in Daily View. And Harold Levy is next on my list. Levy's garage, three days missing. Well, I think I'm going to end my stream right here because it's almost been two hours since I started playing this game.
Now, I will keep playing it, but I think I'm just going to keep playing it to myself. But I'll still record my reactions, because I'm having fun with this game. I will see you stream, guys, later in my video. Bye!